Parshas Vayera, Tov Shenayim Ches. Now this Parsha is of course a Parsha where if we began speaking the different things and interesting things and important things in Parshas Vayera, we wouldn't be able to uh, contain the shear into the time that's allotted to us every Thursday night. We could basically go on for hours and hours and over the past, uh, this is year number nine, so over the past eight years, we've really hit this Parsha from so many different angles, from the beginning of the Parsha to Chesed, to Loit, to Avram, to Parsha Zakeda, and that's really what we're going to concentrate a little bit on this year. The end of the Parsha, the Nisoyen of the Akeda, And really, the Nisoyen, this entire episode, of the Akeda at the end of our Parsha, it's obviously a very, very complex and at times very difficult Parsha to understand. Right? Try to understand the commandment that was given to Avram and the test and the, 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 the Nisoyen of Avram, Avram Avinu and Yitzchak. It's, it's extremely, extremely difficult to really, really put it all together. And the Nesiva Shalom discusses the Akeda from many different angles. And one of the ways that the Nesiva Shalom speaks about it, and he brings down a Noyam Elimelech. The Noyam Elimelech speaks about the words of the parsha of Ayashkem Avraham Aboiker. Avraham Avinu woke up early in the morning. And the Pesach says, that Avraham Avinu got up early to start preparing himself for the Akeda, and he went out and he chopped wood. So the Noyam Elimelech asks, why did Avraham Avinu have to wake up early in the morning and start chopping wood? I mean, why even prepare the wood now? Remember, Avraham Avinu had a journey of three days in front of him to get to the place where they were going to have the Akeda, Avraham Avinu still had to take a trip. So question number one is why wake up early in the morning to do this? And even if you're going to tell me that Avraham Avinu wanted to wake up early in the morning to get started with his trip, why chop the wood now? Why not wait? Was there a shortage of wood along the way? Could they not have found wood when they got to the place of the Akedah? Why did Avraham Avinu have to wake up early in the morning and start chopping wood when he had three days ahead of him that he could have really accomplished this task? So the Sivashalom teaches us a very interesting and important lesson here from what we just read in the Pasa. And he says like this, when Hashem gives us the great opportunity to do and be Mekayim mitzvahs. And really, we all have to realize that, we have to know that, that, the, that doing mitzvahs is an opportunity. And it's a great opportunity that Hashem gives us. And when Hashem does give us that opportunity, then the Sivashon tells us that the main point is not the actual performing of the mitzvah. The ikr that we have when we do a mitzvah is a nachas ruach, that Hashem, Kaviyocho, gets that we are performing His will. Hashem wants to see the Ava and the Shlemus that we have when we're Mekayim mitzvah. It's not just about what we do, it's how you do it. And it's the fact that you are doing it. Hashem gets a tremendous Nachatz Ruach out of seeing that we are doing the will of Hashem. And really, that is the Ikar Rotzen to see that his children, the Kla Yisrael, are doing his will. The Gemara Masech Tabrachas, Davov Amon Aleph, tells us that if a person, Choshav Lasois Mitzvah, if a person had in his mind, Choshav Lasois Mitzvah, he thought about doing a mitzvah, Venenas, and something happened, through no fault of his own. Bananas, he wasn't able to do it. Veloyaso, he wasn't able to do the mitzvah. Male olov akosuv ki'ilu aso. That if a person had in mind to do a mitzvah, 
and for some reason you couldn't do it, the, the HaKadosh Baruch who looks at it, it's as if you did the mitzvah. Because Hashem knows and Hashem appreciates the machshavas of a Jew. Hashem appreciates the fact that we want to do it. Yes, you couldn't carry it out all the way. And maybe there would be, of course, a great reward for actually doing the mitzvah. But Hashem looks at it as if we did it because we had in mind to follow the will of Hashem. Hashem knows how much you wanted to do the mitzvah. And He knows the dedication and love for Hashem that you show by just wanting to do the mitzvah. The wanting to do the mitzvah and preparing to do it shows that love and dedication to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that is, as we said, the Iker part of the mitzvah. The Iker part of the mitzvah is not how and when it's carried out. The Iker part of the mitzvah is the fact that Hashem sees that we want to do His will. And we need to know, says the Nesiva Shalom, that it really works the other way too. If you have a person that goes through all the motions of actually doing a mitzvah. And he goes ahead and he does the mitzvah with all the hidurim and all the wonderful things that he could do along with the mitzvah. Yet, a person does not have in mind that we are doing this for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and we're doing it out of love for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, says that Ziva Shalman works the other way too. You missed the boat. So, if you thought about doing a mitzvah and you weren't able to do it, the Gemara tells us, Malelov, as if you did the mitzvah, because you're showing that you want to do the will of Hashem and that you love Hashem. But on the other hand, if we do a mitzvah and we do it by rote, and we don't think at all that we're doing it to fulfill the will of Akadosh Baruch Hu, you're missing the ikr, you're missing the main part of the mitzvah. The Gemara Mesech the Sanhedrin, Daf Kuvav Omid Beis, which we actually just learned in the Daf Yoimi, the Gemara tells us that Rachman Aliba boy, what Hashem wants, and everybody knows this phrase and you know this term, Rachman Aliba boy, Hakadosh Baruch Hu wants what's in your heart. He wants you to give it heart. He wants you to have in mind the love and dedication that you have for Hashem when you're going to do a mitzvah. Hashem wants to see the investment of our feelings and our heart into the actions and the mitzvahs that we perform. So now, with the principles that we just mentioned, now we can go back and try to understand Avraham Avinu waking up in the morning and chopping wood. We all know that the nature of a person is so that when a person gets a feeling that Hashem wants you to do something right now, Sometimes we have the feeling, we understand, and we can just feel that this is what Hashem wants us to do. We get the feeling that Hashem wants us to do something. So right away, we initially have this great energy and this great inspiration. We know Hashem wants us to do something. So we get this adrenaline and this energy to go ahead and do it right now. But we know that after a couple of days, if we haven't done it yet, we cool off. It's the nature of a person. When you feel something that you want to do it, you get a lot of gusto, but if for some reason you don't end up doing it right then, that's human nature. It wears off. We're on to the next thing. We're on to something else. When Hashem told Avraham Avinu about the Akedah, Avraham Avinu knew this psychology too. Avraham Avinu knew that right now Hashem told him to do the Akedah. Avraham Avinu had a burning desire to do the Tzivoy Hashem, to do what Hashem has asked of him. But Avraham Avinu also knew that until we get to the place of the Akedah, we have a three-day road trip ahead of us. And in those three days, you know what could happen. That burning desire that Avraham Avinu had when he heard the Tzivoy Hashem, that Hashem wants him to perform the Akedah, Hashem wants him to do this, that desire, human nature, it would just wear off. So therefore, right away, Avraham Avinu went and he did everything that he could, including chopping the wood. 
Because two days later, along the road, or three days later, when he got to the Makai of the Akeda, then it may have worn off. And Avraham Avinu knew that. So he went right away, and he even did things now, he'd have to load up the wood. He'd have to back up the truck and schlep all the wood with him to the Akeda. But Avraham Avinu knew that this, Hashem gave the Tzibu to do it, and we have to do it right now before the desire to do the will of Hashem would wear off. And Avraham Avinu would never want to miss out on that, the Iker part of it, to show the love and to show the dedication right away to do the will of Hashem. So we see the Pesach tells us, by Ashkem Avraham Aboiker, Avraham Avinu woke up early in the morning. He was going to take a three-day trip. He got up early, early in the morning, waking up early because he had the desire to fulfill the word of Hashem. And the uh, tell us that Avram Avinu didn't give out the work to any servants. Avram Avinu himself saddled up his ride to the Akedah. Avram Avinu was the one that went and did all the preparations to show the love and dedication that not only do I want to do the will of Hashem, but I want to do it right now because I'm afraid it might wear, it might wear off. And this was the Nisoyim of the Akedah, says the Nesiva Shalom. In other words, Lohidia, like the Mishnah and Perky always tells us, Kama Chibosli Shal Avram Avinu. By Avram Avinu passing the Nisoyim, he didn't just show that he does the will of Hashem. Lohidia Kama Chibosli Shal Avram Avinu. To show how much Avram Avinu loved Hashem. Not that he just did the will of Hashem. And that's why the Mishnah uses that Lashem, Kamachi Basai, how much love. Avram Avinu did it early in the morning. He did it all himself. He did it right away. And the lesson, really, that all of us could take out of here, and there are many lessons to be learned, but one that we could focus in right now is that when we feel the desire to do a mitzvah, when we feel the urge to help somebody, when we feel the urge to learn something, there's nothing in the world like going ahead and doing it right away. We all know that feeling when we connect with Hashem. You know, you feel that this is something Hashem wants you to do right now. Don't put it off. Don't wait until later. Don't take the chance of finding out that an hour from now, after you finish your shopping, and after you finish doing all the other things you want to do with your day, it's going to wear off. And we know that. And we can learn this lesson from Avram Avinu. Avram Avinu did everything right away. And that is really what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to see from us. Besides Hashem wanting to see us do mitzvahs, Hashem wants to see us dedicated to HaKadosh Baruch Hu Kaviyach. And really, that is the lesson that we're going to focus in on this week. And we're going to try a little bit. We can't say that we're going to be perfect right away. But the next time something comes your way and you have a chance to do something, let's do it right away.